Between the late 1800s and early 1900s, many Japanese men traveled to California to pick crops as cheap labor. They originally planned to return home after their contracts ended, but the 1907 Gentlemen's Agreement prohibited Japanese Americans to return home, and they were forced to make the U.S. their home. Plantation owners recommended marriage to these men because they thought that having wives would make them more likely to stay. Many of the picture brides came from poor families and they planned on sending excess money back home. Some brides' parents arranged the marriages and they had to go through with them out of respect. Other reasons for the immigration to America in the book, The Buddha in the Attic, include freedom, avoiding responsibilities, and following the track. The process begins when the middle-aged men would send photos, which were often either over 20 years old or of different men altogether, to Japan where a Nakoto, or matchmaker, would arrange marriage with an innocent 20-year-old girl. This process, called omiyai in Japan, dates back to the 1500s. The brides wouldn't have come if the men didn't lie and they didn't know how horrible the conditions were. The loophole in the gentleman's agreement allows Japanese women to immigrate to America for the purpose of marriage. To gain citizenship in America, the picture brides were forced to marry their husbands at the dock as they got off the ships. Since they didn't know each other, the marriages often left both spouses unhappy. In the Buddha in the Attic, the men often abused their brides, but only some of the brides ran away. Others lied to their families back home and said that everything was perfect. The picture brides were, in most cases, forced to pick crops. This was also the case for many of the women in the Buddha in the Attic. In fact, the women from the story were so used to picking crops that many of them only knew a few English words that were used in the fields. The plantation owners loved having the brides work because they had better work ethics than the Mexicans and they worked for less pay than the Europeans. The picture brides weren't properly respected, however. There was always racism in California against Japanese, but the tensions were raised even higher when Japanese bombed American ships at Pearl Harbor. Many Japanese were wrongly accused of spying, and they lived in constant fear of being deported to internment camps. Around 1942, all Japanese on the Pacific coast were given notices that they had to board buses bound for internment camps. They had to bring very little, leaving behind their homes and businesses. Only then did everyone else notice how important the Japanese were in their society.